Hello everyone, welcome back to X Machines channel. In this video, we'll explore amazingly efficient and modern boat manufacturing methods. Since ancient times, people have used wood to build sturdy boats, and wood has always been an excellent material for building boats. Over many years of development, combined with modern boat building technologies, the cold molded method has taken advantage of the strength of wood materials, to combine with new materials with watertight, light and stronger characteristics to build small sailboats, competitive oars, touring sailboats, sturdy and fast multi-hull boats. This technique involves joining together very thin layers of wooden planks or boards, to create a watertight hull that is extremely strong and light. Combine these remarkable features, with the relative ease of boat building, and it has become a very popular choice among professional and amateur builders. The first boat building begins by developing a 3D model, to define the shape of the boat. The model is converted into CNC code, allowing the templates and jigs to be machined and assembled, more accurately and quickly than traditionally lofted. The pieces of wood after being cut by a CNC machine according to the design will be placed parallel to each other to form the body of the boat. Then, they will be attached and connected by long wooden slats to form a solid frame for the boat. After completing the frame for the boat, engineers will successively glue the layers of wood, then the fiberglass layer and the outer layer of wood to the bottom of the boat. These layers are glued together with specialized adhesives. The layers are glued together like this to give the ship strength and watertightness while ensuring the ship retains the necessary light weight. They do the same for the side of the boat, the hip has a larger area than the bottom, so this will take longer than the bottom. The jigs will be installed to connect the bottom and the hips, keeping them closed. Then the entire hull of the boat will be covered with another layer of fiberglass. After the final layer of plywood is applied to the side and bottom of the boat, the entire boat is then painted with a top coat. This paint will act as the final protective layer to help increase the boat's resistance to water. At this time, the entire staff in the workshop gather to turn the boat upright to handle the rest of the boat. Layers of wood, fiberglass, and plywood are also in turn coated on the rest and glued together.
Engineers do the final touches before completing the entire boat building process. For the most intuitive view at modern fiberglass boat building, X Machines will take you to visit the Parker Boats factory, where we'll see firsthand how fiberglass fishing boat is created. Parker Boats is a family-owned business, with a long tradition of boat building. The company's fiberglass fishing boats are safe, highly reliable, and they also offer maximum performance and reliability, for extreme fishing adventures. The boats are manufactured with meticulous attention, to detail and are subject to strict quality control, to ensure they are always in good working order, and do not require ongoing maintenance. This is the fiberglass layer, this fiberglass layer will be glued by the workers to the inside of the boat mold, this is the most important layer to help the boat keep its strength and stability. In this video we are going to watch the custom 30 offshore aluminum boat building process. This is the aluminum boat yard at Central Charters in Homer, Alaska, USA. The welders demonstrated their extremely proficient welding techniques during the welding process of this aluminum boat. Let's see how they do. The boat is assembled by long aluminum plates, which are welded together and fixed by steel frame bars. As you can see, the aluminum sheets are welded together by long welds, this is a very difficult job, these welds need to be even, and watertight. Therefore, welders need to be highly skilled and perform welds very carefully and meticulously.
After welding the bottom part, the welders will proceed to weld the hull of the boat. The hull is assembled by large panels, these large panels can be welded separately, and then welded to the boat, or welded directly to the boat depending on the area. After the welding is complete, the whole boat will go to the spray paint step. Workers are preparing paint to paint the boat. And this is the result when the boat has been painted and waited for the paint to dry. 